That's sad. Yeah. Well, we got to talk about the fire danger. We're in the middle of fire season, yes. and uh, we have high fire danger tonight. Let's yeah. Jeff. We definitely do. It's it's the last thing we need. We've had so much fire danger the past two months, so many hot temperatures and so many fires, so many acres burned. And here we go again. So right now outside, it's mostly clear. Temperatures are still relatively mild out there. And you'll see our high fire danger really is for these mountain gusts. Winds of 30 to 50 miles per hour on average coming out of the north and the east. Also low humidity, 10 to 25 percent. Even warm at the coast tomorrow, 70s to also 80s. Now, right now, I have started to clock some very gusty winds over Mount St. Helena up to 60 miles per hour. So while a lot of us down at the lower elevations can't feel it, it is definitely windy throughout the mountains. Mount Diablo at 41. So tomorrow morning, the focus continues to be for the best chance of those gusty winds over the North Bay, higher elevations, the red to magenta color here, those 30 to 50 mile per hour gusts. As we move through tomorrow evening, it tries to relax a little bit, but will hang on to some of these gusty winds at least through 6 a.m. there on Friday morning. And then as we move through Friday, we should start to see this wind beginning to calm down for us. And well, yes, that would be some good news. As we move through tomorrow morning, temperatures will be on the warmer side with this drier wind, 66 in the Tri-Valley, mostly sunny skies, also up to 69 in the North Bay. Daytime highs also warming up another 3 to 5 degrees, so plenty of 90s tomorrow. In fact, all of my South Bay temperatures in the 90s. 91 in Cupertino, 94 in Gilroy. Check out near the Bay. That's a warm day for you in Oakland, 92. Head out to Antioch, 96. Peninsula also getting in on these 90s. 92 in Palo Alto, 90 in San Mateo. San Francisco, more warm weather with this dry offshore wind pushing us up to 86 in the Mission, 72 in the Marina. And across the North Bay on the fire lines, we have 96 in Clear Lake and also 97 in Novato. Let's take a look at the extended forecast and temperatures will drop. Look, we got to wait for it while we're out of the wind by Friday morning. We'll start to see temperatures eventually drop once we hit Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday in San Francisco. Back down to those cooler 60s as we hit early next week and across the inland valleys. We'll also have to wait for it by Sunday. There you go. We've got some 80s and eventually down to 82 on next Tuesday's forecast. Now, I do want to show you the rainfall chances and this is not what we want to see. Santa Rosa, which has been in the heart of so much of this fire danger, the, the dry air and the fires near, only a 10% chance of rain on Monday. That's it. So bone dry as we head through the next seven days. Uh, first, second week of November could be a little more promising for us, but it is still way too early to tell on that just yet. So here we go again, as I said at the top yeah. of this weather hit. It's, it's a horrible feeling tonight. Yeah, let's just hope for the best. All right, That's thank for you. Sure.